inhabitants are a minority. The Golden Temple is sacred to all Sikhs. And if government should move against the temple by force, most Sikhs would become militants. That was the fear that kept the Indian government indecisive until June. But this man always knew he was in danger. He was right. He died early in the fight. He had been in the temple for two years, under security within security. But he was always accessible to his followers. The nearest thing the Sikh rebellion had to an Ayatollah Khomeini. Jarnail Singh Bindranwale, 38, when he was killed. If he had been an American pastor, he would have been a fundamentalist. He hated the successful urban Sikhs who trim their beards and wear two-piece suits. The poor and the illiterate loved him, brought him what rupees they could spare. He spoke openly of the deaths and violence his followers had caused. These were not murders, he said, but justice. And if necessary, the Sikhs would set up their own state and, the government feared, start the disintegration of India as a federal nation. We found him at a midday audience. You want to talk, he said, sit down and we'll talk. The camera and I had become part of the show. If I were to tell Americans very briefly what you want, what should I say? What do you want? We want, said the priest, to bring an end to the slavery which has been put around the necks of the Sikhs. Some uh, people, even some Sikhs, say that this is not a religious movement but a political movement. Is that partly true? Indranwale said that observation was totally wrong for a paradoxical reason. In Sikhism, he said, religion and politics are inseparable from each other. Do you see any comparison at all between yourself and Khomeini? He either misunderstood or hedged. He couldn't be a Khomeini, he said, because he is a Sikh and a servant of the Sikhs. And in Sikhism, he said, nothing is irrational. A Sikh is never an oppressor, but only defends himself and his people. I have never, he said, initiated any attack with my tongue or my pen or with my sword. I only answer back or retaliate, he said, to actions initiated by the enemies of the Sikhs.